Hello, so resources and dictionaries are absolutely amazing in Godot, but a very common question from developers is, well, I understand how to use resources and dictionaries, but I can't seem to understand when one would be a better fit than the other. So today, throughout this video, we will break down the differences that lead to unique functionalities between the two, then go summarize all that into reasons for using a dictionary and reasons for using a resource along with using them together. But of course, deciding which to use for a particular situation involves some critical thinking. Which is why the goal for this tutorial isn't just to tell you, but to give you all the information you'll need to make those decisions within your own projects. But instead of just talking about it, let's dive into it. So subscribe to help other aspiring game developers, and let's start with a very quick refresh on what resources and dictionaries are. In simple terms, a resource is a reused template of structured data. Resources are created from a resource script file, which defines a custom resource type and the particular data that resource type will store. Using that resource script file, you can create multiple resources all using the same data structure but storing different values. On the other hand, a dictionary contains a list of values which are organized by giving each value an assigned key name, allowing for an easy value lookup using that key name value. And these value pairs could be of any value like string to integer, node to vector2, or even resource to integer. Now, those are simple explanations of course because this video is more aimed towards understanding when and where each should be implemented or when they shouldn't be implemented, but if you don't yet fully understand how to use resources or how to use dictionaries, then I really recommend looking into that first, so I'll link two in-depth tutorials on that below. So to understand when we should use one over the other, let's first go over their differences and how those differences affect their functionality. The most noticeable difference is that dictionaries are data structures integrated within a script, while resources are data structures that exist separate as individual files. This makes saving and loading resources all throughout a project very convenient as opposed to dictionaries which are pretty much stuck where they are defined. Since a resource is stored as an individual file, you can load the same resource into multiple nodes. This makes the data stored within resources very reusable throughout a project. Also, since resources are stored as individual files, you can have multiple resource files of the same resource type. This in essence means you can have multiple files of the same data structure storing different values, which allows you to easily load in a new set of values without having to redefine each value individually. Now, taking this simple example a bit farther, you can load in different level resources during runtime into each goblin instance to create that leveling up effect. But another major difference is that resources can also hold more complex data, like functions. Now, while dictionaries can in a way reference a function, it isn't ideal. But why would you want to store a function within a data structure anyway? Well, functions can help to manage that data, for example creating getter and setter functions. Resources in Godot also allow you to make use of the Godot inspector and editor, which can be a huge time saver. Okay, okay, resources are great, but let's not forget about dictionaries. The thing that makes dictionaries unique is that they give you a flexible data structure, as you can add and remove elements of a dictionary during runtime, which makes dictionaries perfect for a constantly changing data structure. Dictionaries also allow you to easily check if specific data is within the dictionary, how much data is within the dictionary, and a few other methods which could prove helpful when dealing with data. Keep in mind that in a dictionary you can't duplicate a key name value, but that key name value can be of any type the value to that key name can also be of any value type. So dictionaries are unique in a sense that they allow you to pair two unique value types together. As I'm sure you're starting to tell, resources will be used about 90% of the time. But since they both have unique functionalities, there are times that you'd want to use a dictionary over a resource, which is the idea behind this video. So when is it time to use a dictionary in Godot? Well, if you need a data structure where you can change what data is being stored during runtime, or if you need to assign unique values to each other, then a dictionary should be the go-to. Now, with that being said, even if you don't need a flexible data structure or the ability to pair unique values, if you know that you'll only need that data in one area of your project as a one-off data container just to organize a script, then use a dictionary because it's easier to throw together a dictionary right there within that script than it'll be to define a whole new resource class. But if you know you'll need to access or reuse that data throughout your project, then make it into a resource. This goes for logic as well. If you know you'll need some logic over and over again throughout your project, make it into a resource instead of rewriting it all throughout the project. I guess all this kind of sums up to if the data structure is going to be reused, then use a resource. And if it isn't going to be reused, then use a dictionary. But of course, also think about the other differences before coming to a final decision on which one to use for your situation. 
And again, remember, if you've got any questions at all, then please let me know in the comments. Since now you've hopefully got a bit of a better understanding of when to use resources and when to use a dictionary, I want you to keep in mind that resources can be stored within dictionaries and dictionaries can be defined within resources. So if you're having trouble figuring out whether a resource or a dictionary would be a better fit for a feature, then try to break that feature down into simpler tasks. Then decide how to go about each of those simpler tasks, which in some cases may lead you to intertwine resources and dictionaries to create that feature that you want, like many inventory systems do. Okay, so I know this video wasn't too long or too intensive, but we did cover a lot. So if you've got any questions or found anything confusing, then feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. But I hope you can walk away from this video having a better understanding of when to use resources and when to use dictionaries within Godot. Now, since we focused on when to use them and we didn't really cover how to use them, I'll link some in-depth how-to tutorials down below in the description. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope this video did provide some value and until next time, stay safe and have a wonderful rest of your day. God bless and bye-bye.